International Space Station took 60 launches and $100 billion to make. Unless we make usable space in space a lot less expensive and much, much larger, humanity's future in space will remain limited. My first company, Made in Space, pioneered the first in-space manufacturing. But I quickly realized if we were ever going to bring real commercialization to space, we needed a lot more volume. Expandables are the only comprehensive solution that allow this to be possible. And no one in the world knows space expandables better than Maxim. I built the first two inflatable, deployable spacecraft, Genesis 1 and 2, and they're still circling the globe to this day. Despite the success, we needed still a much bigger size. We developed a proprietary expandable architecture. It decomposes the pressure shell into discrete, uncoupled structural elements. It means that we can double, triple, quadruple the size of our architecture with full predictability. Our expandables at MaxSpace are safer and stronger than standard metallic architecture. We've tested our modules to the limit. We exploded them, launched projectiles at them, vibe tested, vacuum tested, and exposed them to space's harshest conditions. Our MaxSpace modules are bigger, easier to manufacture, and more scalable than other systems. We just finished our full fidelity ground unit and are now building our flight unit, which will be the largest expandable habitat to ever go to space. The cost of launching to space is dropping dramatically, but without access to more volume, the potential of space remains out of our grasp. Our mission is to unlock a new frontier for humanity. This will enable new drugs to be created in space, revolutionary space farming technologies, removing heavy industries' limitations on Earth, and a new type of entertainment. Everything we do stems from one goal, more volume, less cost. We get orders of magnitude more volume per rocket. That means one ISS at less than 1% of the cost. MaxSpace was created to maximize space in space in a way that's never been possible before.